Hola, welcome to the journey of the beauty of Spanish. Today, we will explore the versatility and significance of the infinitive verbs, verbos and infinitivo. These are essential elements in the Spanish language. Without further ado, let's dive right in. My name is Hope, one of your ambassadors for Spanish 55. In this channel, we provide you with some of the best tips and tricks to improve your Spanish like a pro. And remember, before we start, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our latest videos. In Spanish, infinitive verbs are the purest form of a verb, much like the base form in English. These verbs end in AR, ER, or IR. They represent actions with any specific subject or tense attached. For instance, hablar, comer, vivir, to speak, to eat, to live. The endings AR, ER, and IR reflect the three main verb conjugations patterns in the language. These endings indicate the group to which the verb belongs and provide essential information about how the verb is conjugated in different tenses and forms. Here's a breakdown of each group and its corresponding endings. AR verbs. Verbs that end in AR belongs to the first group. This group includes a wide range of verbs such as hablar, cantar, bailar, actuar, the second conjugation verb group is ER. This group includes verbs such as comer, beber, correr, aprender. And lastly, we have the third group, the verbs with the ending of IR. Here we have verbs such as vivir, escribir, reír, compartir. Are you able to translate all of these verbs? The beauty of infinitive verbs lies in their flexibility. They can function as nouns, adjectives, or even part of a larger verb structure. Let's see how they work in different contexts. Leer es mi pasatiempo favorito. Reading is my favorite hobby. Quisiera comer la paella, por favor. I would like to eat the paella, please. Necesito vivir en España por seis meses. I need to live in Spain for six months. Infinitive verbs as commands. Infinitive verbs can be used to give specific commands or instructions in a very polite way. Para cocinar este platillo, primero debemos cortar las verduras y luego freír en aceite caliente. To cook this dish, we must cut the vegetables first and then fry them in hot oil. Infinitive verbs with modal verb. Modal verbs and infinitive verbs make an excellent combination when expressing possibilities or potential actions. Debo preparar mi maleta para el viaje. I should prepare my suitcase for the trip. Podemos bailar toda la noche. We can dance all night. Infinitive verbs and progressive actions. We can pair any verb with the infinitive verb estar in order to create the progressive tenses, indicating ongoing actions. Estar despierto durante toda la noche me provocó dolor de cabeza. Being awake all night long gave me a headache. Infinitive verbs and verb phrases. Lastly, infinitive verbs are crucial components of verb phrases, allowing for more complex expressions. Voy a viajar a Sudamérica el próximo año. I'm going to travel to South America next year. Voy a tener que viajar a Sudamérica el próximo año. I'm gonna have to travel to South America next year. Voy a tener que esperar para viajar a Sudamérica el próximo año. I'm gonna have to wait until next year to travel to South America. And here is the final boss of today's infinitive verb lesson. Are you ready? Voy a tener que esperar hasta el próximo año para intentar obtener mi visa y entonces poder viajar a Sudamérica. I'm gonna have to wait until next year so I can try to get my visa and then travel to South America. How many infinitive verbs did you count? And there you have it, the beauty of infinitive verbs in Spanish. Their adaptability, whether as nouns, adjectives, or part of larger verb structures, makes them fundamental when expressing various ideas in Spanish. Please write on the box below if you would like another video about infinitive verbs. In Spanish 55, we love seeing you growing and learning with us. Therefore, we're always looking forward to know if you have any concern. Feel comfortable enough if you need personalized assistance or guidance. All of our tutors will be glad to help you out. Like this video and turn on the bell button so we can meet in the next one. Adios y hasta pronto.